Quarterback draw. <laughs> hey, that's something we haven't seen, Felix. How about those trick plays? The oldest trick play on record is the flying wedge. Very few teams still use it. But he ran the flea flicker better than John Unitas and the Baltimore Colts. And it's Dan Reeves to hold for Mike Clark. He has one field goal to his credit. Fake. Here goes Reeves. He has the first down at the 13 yard line. A reverse to Swan, a flea flicker, and it's Bradshaw. to Mike Archie, and it winds up keeping him up. What a terrific job of acting. Roby looked like a Siasen. He did. And you know, he only takes the one step, so he lays. Oh. Talking about Stinnerud having a hot year, so is Danilo. As Brenner fires outside to Gary Shirk, who is wide open. Touchdown Giants. They never saw it. That was the old sleeper play. They lined up in a field goal and then left Shirk over on the sideline. And we can see out there, now watch when Shirk catches the ball, there was no defender out there. There's no way, I, there's no one out there, and it was an easy touchdown. Harmon will probably try to squib it, and he does. Ball comes loose, and the Bears have to get out of bounds. Rodgers along the sideline, another one. They're still in deep trouble at midfield. They tried to do a couple of, the ball is still loose as they get it to Rodgers. They give it back now to the 30. They're down to the 20. All the band is out on the field. He's going to go into the end zone. He's going to be out of there. The Bears have won. The Bears have won. Oh, my God. The most amazing, sensational, dramatic, heart-rending, exciting, thrilling finish in the history of college football. Big down. Dean Steinkohler, he's in for a touchdown. I was totally fooled. The best technicians in the world. 
Watch Turner Gill come out. Dean Steinkuhler, number 71. He hands it to Old Dean. The ball, he didn't hold it. He left it right on the ground. The only way you can give it to a lineman is you got to fumble it. He cannot take it and hand it to him. So what he did is he got it from the center and left it on the ground. Perry in motion. The pass to Perry. Touchdown. Two of the three amigos already with a long reception. And this is Steve Sewell who's going to throw. He throws back to Elway the other way. Inside the 20, down to the 13-yard line. <laughs> Giants with a first down on the Cardinal 30-yard line. Great field position. And they take a flea flicker. And Otis Anderson carries inside the 10-yard line. Watch him as he hits the line, turns back toward Hostetler here, and let's see if we can see what happened. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll have to find out from the giant bench, but boy, that is a play. First time I've ever seen that. Fake flea flicker. Nice punch. Nice, yeah. Six punts, an interception, a turnover on downs, and Christie kind of boots it on along the ground. Somebody is roaming fort and fields the football. We're going to lateral it, and he gets it another lateral back to Dion. Second lateral, and Dion's going to take it up the near sideline. Nice block, Dion at the 50, Dion at the 40. Dion could go. He's at the 20, the 10, and <laughs> he drives into the end zone for a touchdown. From the hold of Tom Tupa, they go for two. two. And Tom Tupa, the first player to score a two-point conversion. Oh, my, what a play. To the Cleveland special teams continue to pile up points. And Marino completes inside the 10. Here's a first down. Ingram again. Stopped by Glenn. Marino's trying to get everybody on the line of scrimmage now. He still has one timeout. They'll save that for the field goal. If they have to. We are seeing another spectacular effort by Marino who fires. Touchdown! You know what the Jets are thinking? He's going to take the ball and throw it into the ground. They he didn't stopped. Do it. They all stopped. If you take a look at it, the offensive lineman, all they did was stand up. And Marino says to Ingram, I mean, that's the communication that they have. You Mustangs ball, first and 10 on the 20 yard line. Scribner under center. Oh, well, there's some confusion on the field. No, no, Scribner's running. Scribner's running. He's taken off down the sideline. He's going to score. This is a play that Coach Spencer was telling me about. It's called wrong ball. The Mustangs line up as though they've got the wrong ball. The center does a side snap, so it's still legal. Scribner walks to the sidelines where the coach is holding up a new ball, and then he takes off. So the defense is totally confused. They've got no idea what's going on, and the Mustangs capitalize for a touchdown. Put him here, too. Eighth touchdown grab of the year for Keyshawn. Bucks want to pull to within three, their first two-point conversion attempt all year. Oh! Dazzle, dazzle. They got it. That was sweet. I don't think that last lateral was in his part that of the play. I think Allstott just flipped it out there to King. You think so? I got to believe that. That was nice. A little razzle-dazzle gets the Buccaneers that two-point conversion. It's 14-11 Green Bay over Tampa Bay now as the Buccaneers pull. Field position for Arthur. Look at this formation. Oh! Coming out of the pile, Reggie Fitch leans out to the six. This angle, he's right there sitting down, right almost in a field goal holder stance. The Auburn defense can't see him, but Karibi Didi, right there, number 21, you'll see him. He's the one that almost makes a tackle right there. Picked off by Garen Bible. I think they were even surprised to see him throw it. He's now caught a pass in 39 consecutive games. In the first and goal, Fumble Fumbleruski. Fumbleruski to McClendon. He put it right between his legs to Phillip Rivers. Went down low, handed it right between the legs to T.A. McClendon. Him with some type of run pass option going to the right. Boise State for the win. They hand it off to Johnson. Boise State has won the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. Can you believe it? Brady still has the football. What a fake to the end zone. Caught, touchdown, New England. It's Welker. See how close he is? They fake like he's got it. Look at the defense react. <laughs> and oh my gosh, nobody covers it in the back of the end zone. And here we go, folks. Wildcat. What does this mean? It's a new formation, and it's just going to be exactly the play. There you have it, Gus. That's exactly. 
Pennington lined up as a receiver, top of your screen. This time, back to Pennington. Wide open. Pennington throwing, deep ball, separation. Touchdown. One of the things the players appreciate is that Dick Tron never throws anyone under the bus, player or coach. And there's a quick <laughs> kick by Castle. You gotta love Belichick. And he gets Dick the God. roll down to the 10. Oh, and the it's, wind continues. Oh, it'll go to the one. The to the five. It'll go all the way down. Matt Castle, the best putter in the league today. Those pictures you see him looking at uh, every time he comes off the field. Onside kick to start the second half. And the ball bounces off the hands of a Colt. And it looks like the Saints had it for a second. How about this way to start the second half? Are you and the Saints football, they recover the onside kick. What a fearless start to the second half. Really? Uh, the guy is really a complete player. His arm is strong enough. Here comes a trick play. Is it a fumble Ruski? Burst is free. Fumble Ruski for a touchdown. When they're trying to analyze a football game, but anybody watching this game would not say they should have run it more than they did. Penalty flag comes down as the catch is made on the far side of the field by Knox. A total deep by Devin Hester. A flag is down, however, back inside the 20. Watch Devin Hester. He's calling for a fair catch. Everybody's eyes go to Hester. Meanwhile, the punt is on the other side of the field, and the only person over there is Johnny Knox. But there's a hold to erase what would have been. For Houston, as you saw. Boswell's onside kick. Oh, they go the other way. Got and it. it's picked up by Rice. <laughs> they recovered it. He threw a curve. What a play. Oh, how did... He went behind. He went That's behind like the, the ball. The old Tony French maneuver. And it went 10 yards right in front of Greenberry. Great throw by Thomas. So there is that spread. One point or two. They snap it. They're going to throw for two. The trickery. Caught. Got it. It's 8 nothing. They threw. Quarter Cincinnati down 10 7 fourth and two Lou look at George win with the jump pass. That was impressive That was an innovative play never seen it before and if he's right-handed that was really impressive Travis Kelsey caught it Mark you're scowling If he was right-handed innovative <laughs> play never seen it before Manziel was inserted kind of altered the rhythm a little bit, but they like this they they want their opposing team to have to devote practice time to this package during the week Well, they want to be able to provide a spark mainly for their offense Not right open throw down the field, it's Manziel! Penalty markers are flying down as they fooled everyone on that play Sally, look at this play here, Manziel is on the field there and Shanahan giving him the signal of when to break out into his route He's wide open <laughs> Yeah, it looked like he was just talking to the coach because he had his back to the formation. Didn't even know they snapped the ball. The coach said, okay, now you can go run your route. Terrence West had an illegal shift. Luke Ferguson on a fake punt throws, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Kirby. Watch him just slide in, slide in, and then he gets underneath. Just a poorly thrown ball. This is over Kirby's head. It's an easy conversion, and Arkansas State continues. Hey, what go! What is it? What is it? Got to go! And they snap it, and now here comes a double reverse, and they throw the ball to Brady. Across that field will step out of bounds. How about that? <laughs> season here, but they have not faced a defense to quality Wisconsin, no. No, with or you? without Beagle. Look it at this is. formation. Oh, yeah. What do you call this, Cruz? That's the train. Who didn't know that? Now, on second and two, hand it off. Damian Smith trying to push towards the goal line. <laughs> First in the Big 12, Nick Hodgson. This will be Eccles Looper throwing it across the field. Cadillac with Walker. Cadillac flag on the play as he crosses the 45. 
Oh, there he is, right there. He was laying down and just totally hit himself in the middle of the O and Horn Frogs in the end zone. So he didn't attract any attention. That's like when you have your young child and you teach him to play dead. <laughs> And now what happens here, just inside the 30-yard line. Look at the offensive lineman go down. It's a pass back to Moore, and he's going to run with it with a convoy in front. Hayden Moore with his entire offensive line. He scores the touchdown. Well, I mean, this is what Zach Taylor told us he was going to do. Go after those big plays, those explosive plays. We've seen it already time and time taking shots vertically down the field, and then that time a little trickeration, if you will. In a long time, and uh-oh. Right. There we go. It, it was a run because they, they flipped it to him on a lateral. They got a He's going to take it. Look at this. He's going to throw. Touchdown. Oh, my. Oh, look at the players. Oh, to Harris. And honestly, I think that's the most sensible thing. I mean, you... Whoa! Oh, look at the fake here! Oh, I tell you what, Brian. Oh man, Brian look at this! Ellis. Come on, Brian Ellis! Down to the 30, down to the 32. Wow! Take a knee, not tonight. 31 yards. He does 31 yards here, and that will be appreciated. A little spinner on that. That's a smart play to catch that out of the 10-yard line there by Keegan Brewer. So North Texas has come into Fayetteville and shown well, he, no he's signs never made of a fair it. catch. Oh, he did sign. make a fair catch signal. He's gone. Brewer down the sideline. This is going to be a touchdown. He caught that at the 10. Nobody thought he was going to do it, and he took off. They set out the field goal unit. Hawk, the punter, takes the snap. And then the toss to the end zone for the touchdown to the place kicker, Come Jason on. Sanders. Come on. Let's talk. There's nobody here. I mean, where is he going to go? He's going to try to run this ball? Not quite. There's too many Eagle defenders. But watch your kicker. Eh, I'm just going to block. No, I'm not. I am a receiver. What a well-executed play by this Miami special teams. And give the credit. Brian Flores has done this so many times this year, just taking chances. Lewis looked really good last week against Dallas. Humphrey gives it back to Cardell Jones. It's caught. By DC that was so effective a week ago to Kari Lee for a touchdown. They get a big play out of that one, 21 yards. I love the design too, a little jet sweep, and here's the double forward pass rule, by the way, <laughs> in its entirety. They flip it forward. That is a pass. And they throw it back to call. Next uh, kickoffs, so they look different. Kicker from the 30. Return team lined up at the opposite 30. Can't move to the ball is fielded. And here goes Keith Mumphrey. And they're going to turn it around with room on the near side. And for the first time, they get creative. And the Battle Hawks have the sideline. And a kickoff return for Joe Powell to the end zone. And now they say he stepped out. No, touch.